In this tutorial, I will go over the standalone version of Haptic Candy. Haptic Candy will allow you to trigger your BeHaptic devices through various events on Twitch, like channel points, bits, and subs. All this requires is a BeHaptics player and a Twitch account with affiliate status. You can download Haptic Candy from my Discord server. Once you download it, simply unzip the file. Inside the file, you'll have the program itself and then a subfolder called Tact. Inside the subfolder is where the patterns are that will play on the B Haptics device, and you'll associate these with whatever triggers you want inside the Haptic Candy program. You can also create your own custom patterns by going to the B Haptics designer. It has a really nice drag and drop interface to make different patterns, so it's super easy to customize whatever it is that you want to play on your stream. When you're ready, simply launch the executable and the first time you run Haptic Candy, you will have to authenticate it to Twitch. The reason why is Haptic Candy needs to monitor Twitch for the things like redeems, subs, and bits so that it knows when to trigger your vest. So I'm going to go ahead and click the authenticate button and it will take you to the Twitch page to authenticate and just simply click authorize and then you can close that page when it's done. Next, you'll just want to choose which events you want the vest to trigger on. So right here, if I want it to trigger on subs events, I click this and then I just choose the corresponding pattern that I want it to play. If you have your own patterns that you've made, export them out of the B Haptics Designer and just place them right here inside of this folder. Do note though that they will have to have the tact file extension, which it has by default. So as long as you don't change the file extension, you should be fine. Here I'm going to choose trigger on bits event and then I'm going to choose, let's see, let's do the flame. And then I'm also going to choose a trigger on channel points and then click active. Now I need to put in the reward name and the reward name needs to match exactly what you end up putting for your reward name on your Twitch channel. So for this one, I'm going to call it haptic, let's see, haptic shock. And I want my viewers to be able to give me a nice shock to get my, uh, my blood pump in during a game. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select a pattern to play and let's do the explosion. So I have a really nice strong pattern that plays my best. I'm going to go ahead and just copy the name of this reward name so that I don't make any typos or anything else. Next, I'm going to go into my Twitch panel and add in my custom reward for this. And that's going to be in your creator dashboard, viewer rewards, and channel points. And then I'm going to scroll to the bottom here and add in a new custom reward. I'm going to go ahead and put the name in there and then just a description, give me a haptic shock and then put in your cost. And then you can set in anything else that you may want. If you want to add in any icons here or have a cooldown limit, whatever you want, that's not going to affect anything else that's going on. All right, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this and I'm going to go ahead and start up haptic candy. Once this starts up, it's going to be monitoring Twitch in the background. And now when someone goes and redeems that, it will trigger the haptic vest. So let's give it a quick test. I'm gonna drag that over here and I'm gonna go into my chat and I'm going to go ahead and redeem that haptic shock. When I redeem it, you should now see that pattern play on your vest and you should also fill it on your vest as well. And that is all you need to do. When you're done with the program, simply hit quit. And once you hit quit, it's going to exit out and stop monitoring. It will save your settings though. So the next time you run it, since you've already authorized, you won't need to do that again. And when it pulls up the program, it will have everything selected that you had before. So I hope you enjoy the program as much as I have. Thank you very much.